And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our third installment of the Lab of Legends with Braum. We are now on Heroic. We just got through uh, Normal and then um, Hard. So yeah, so we beat Normal, then, then we beat Hard, and now we are on Heroic. Uh, this has been a, this has been troublesome. We, we've uh, not had the best luck. We've been using our uh, rerolls at the very beginning and uh, this is going to be our third try actually on this one we had elise on one version and, and then um anivia on another but we haven't been getting the best powers haven't been getting the best abilities or or really kind of struggled with like units curving out stuff like that so um yeah this is this is um shown to be difficult so let's let's try again with heroic oh i guess to, to show you what's different now now our enemies will have a reinforcement at the game start. So they're going to have a very good unit at the beginning of the game. And later on, that's going to be like Von Yip and Heimerdinger. And some units are going to be very good. All right, but let's see. What do we get? Wow, we got the very best. Okay, so there we go. We just had to, had to do a third time. So we got the very best. Because uh, before I've used like rerolls at this very first thing each time because I, I haven't done because you, you can retire the run and then rejoin and stuff like that. But I've been trying to do it with, um, you know, like more, uh, you know, like with, without doing that. Basically, I've been, I've been trying to not have that. But uh, we got the very best power one we haven't had at all today. Um, get a random one cost Poro each round start. Love that power. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be our choice. Yeah, Maximus, you're lucky. Yeah, that's that's what people say. Don't use rerolls at the beginning. Just you know, retire the run and then restart. But I just I don't know. I don't like doing that. I like I like feeling okay. This is our run. What do we got? And we got our three rerolls to use. But you know, maybe I'm too optimistic on that because we have. And they, we haven't like lost right away. We've gone, we lost at the final, we've lost at the final boss and then the one before where we've done, like these last two that we've done have been like one hour runs. So we spent the last two hours here on Heroic and nothing to show for it. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna keep these, whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I don't like, yeah, it kind of feels like cheating. I don't like cheating. The, uh, the retire, restart, retire, restart. Yeah. Okay, so we got little buddies. We got our poros. Our little buddies, we're getting poros every single round. Definitely the that's the very best power in the game. You get plenty of blockers. They can attack as well. Brothers born from battle. Now, I'm not worried about saving the little buddies with elixirs. Because uh, we're gonna get more, and board space is definitely a thing. All right, go get him, Brom. Well, I can't block the four damage, so we're gonna be at twenty-six. But I think we're going to be able to refill, and it'll be just fine. I hope we get give it all like we did the very first round with having little buddies. Give it all is awesome. We make quick work of you. We should be friends. All right, they're down to five. Next attack should be able to do it. Sometimes 
All right, so we'll save that and kill a spider. Oh yeah, this little buddy's power with Azir, if you're doing Azir on the run, yeah, Azir, Azir is just immediately leveled up. And of course we're going for the open attack for the win. So we'll just replace those. And game number one should be done. Alright. So now we're going to be able to get a new champion. Let's get like Zed like we did last time. With hard mode. That would be nice. Let's get Zed. Get Zed or Lucian. I don't know if you can get Lucian because that's a normal champion. Twisted Fate, Trindamir, Jinx. We always get expensive champions. There's no, there's never cheap ones. All right, let's go back to Jinx. We we did Jinx the very first time with the uh, normal and it worked out well. I think Jinx is a, a pretty good champion to have. Like Urchin's great to have. Get Excited is a really good spell to have. That's the main reason to have Jinx is have Get Excited. There you go, Trusty Noodle just finished out a run with Talia. Very nice. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm gonna keep all of this. So this, this Scar thing, Stefan, I don't really care about, but I wanted to keep it so that we could discard it. So I could mulligan and, and find something else, but don't really need to. Um, you know, we're just discarded anyway. Because now we still draw something else, but now we don't have this Garthane Stefan in our deck to draw. That's a weird block. Keeping the 3-1 quick attack around and having the mist rate die. That was a weird block. Okay, block, block, block. One more, get excited. It's more Jinx. Take heart. I need you last turn on my Braum. Nah. Alright, so six damage, put him down to nine. And now we get to take out the Brahm. Yeah, little buddy is quality. You are safe with Brom. We're gonna get those right back. We're gonna get those right back. Come on back, little buddies. So I'm I'm feeling good about this run, getting that little buddies. Now it's um, the Jinx, you know, not necessarily the best champion for us to hit. But still feel pretty good about it. Oh, 
All right, so we're at 24 right now, but the game's over, and then we get drained down to 22. So let's see this, this next turn if we're going to be at 24 or 22. I imagine that we're going to be at 24. We do not have Poro Snacks in the deck. Nope. No snacks. But that could be something that we could get. All right, attack, nab one. When I'm summoned, draw one. Or plus one, plus one. I'm going to go with the plus one, plus one on the Braum. Let's make Braum a 1-6 all the time. There we go. There's some Poro Snacks. Let's go. Let's get... Man, but Vi is so good. Oh, but we could get Aurora Porealis for the Poro Snacks. But it costs so much mana. Oh, maybe we just take Vi. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, we don't really need a nab one. I'd rather have the plus one, plus one. This is a hard choice. If if we can get the power where we're like we re refill our spell mana, then we want Porealis, but we don't have that power, and we've already gotten two different powers, right? No, we've only gotten one power so far. So if we get that power, then Porealis makes sense, but it costs so much mana. I think we maybe just go with the Vi. All right, we're gonna go with Vi. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why Vi is not pronounced six, because it is the Ro the Roman numeral six. I was definitely disappointed whenever I saw the card the first time. I was just looked at it. I just said, "How does this card not cost six mana?" Because you know it cost five mana and was like a two five. I'm like, "What are we doing here? How how does this card not cost six mana?" Should be like it should be like a six mana six six. Um, I'm looking at all those. Yeah, that's true. Poor Alice is pretty bad with Jinx. We have too many four mana cards. No, we're basically, we're never going to level Jinx, like, getting down to zero cards is really tough. Alright, so yep, we are at 24, whenever we said to check that, so we do stay at 24. And I'm just holding on to this Ice Veil Archer. It's going to be more useful later, and with me having Avalanche, you just don't need to play it yet. Alright, so they're getting a 4 drop, which I think is Chronicler of Ruin. It seems to be like the 4 drop that they always get. I'm kind of surprised that I don't have... I don't have a 4 mana champion to play. After the mulligan and everything. Oh, I, I blocked the wrong one. I need to block Hapless Richcraft. Should have blocked Hapless or Rich Crab. That was a bad block. So we're gonna get the damage on the step in for the take art. Finally you show up, Rom. I'm 
Okay, so I have nothing at six. Nice, alright, you got mana refill. Bring it. Justice. Alright, leveled up by they're at ten. Should be able to kill them right here. Depending on what they got. And then this is the boss fight, so we will refill our life total after this. Yes, yeah, so that's 12. And then they grasp... Oh no, they vengeance that. Okay, so let's go. Vault Breaker. On the spell shield. Give him little buddy. Alright, little buddy's got him. All right, three, no. Second power, what do we got? Give allies challenger, higher education, and dragon's rage. These are all pretty decent. So we'd have all the little buddies have challenger. We did the challenger one on a different one. It didn't really work out too well. I could see the higher education with like these little buddies having, you know, turn them into like two ones and stuff. So let's do that. Get some two one poros. Um, I don't want any of these cards, but this is not a good spot to reroll because like you usually get kind of a not so great card anyway. You want to reroll on like the powers and stuff like that and your buffs. So I'll just take the plus four, plus zero, and quick attack. You know, that's not a, that good of a card. Yeah, we get some bigger buddies. Instead of little buddies, we get big buddies. We got a little buddy right behind me. Look out for Destin Poro is the coolest. Then you can turn it into Exalted Poro. If we can get a leveled up champion. That is good that the power happens first. And then... After the power happens, then we draw the card. So just wasted a brittle seal for nothing. We could have decided to archer the card that had the vulnerable to begin with. Yeah, this was definitely the best. This was definitely the best choice. That higher education, little buddies. Good looking combo. It was right on my tail. I was planning on playing Jinx, but I don't know, six seven. Killing my hawk. Oh wait, the hawk was gonna kill it. It was a two-one. <laughs> All right. Sometimes, sometimes it's not good to have your camera right in the middle of the screen, and so 
yeah, I couldn't see the T1 Hawk, and I just, yeah, that was bad. So if they block the O3, that means they're not blocking like these other things that do damage to them, and I need to clear up space anyway for my little buddies. So it's not like I really lost anything. And yeah, it'd be nice to still have that get excited. That would be nice. Oh, we got Challenger Poro. Okay, 4-0. Yeah, Melting Dust says, I wish there were some rewards for completing each difficulty after normal, even a wild card or something. Yeah, that would be nice. That that would be nice. Alright, we're gonna give Jinx regen. I just don't I don't really want the other two cards. We can just put more Jinxes in the deck. We have double elixir of iron again. Um I don't I don't I don't really want any of these. Alright, we're gonna do our first re-roll. That was a completely useless re-roll. I don't know if I can can I do another re-roll? I guess I have to, because I just don't I don't want any of these cards. <laughs> there we go. Good reroll. Good reroll. Now we can either buff up Vi or Braum. Um Those are both good. We'll go tough Braum. Like plus two Vi's better. Okay. Plus two, plus two on by. Cool. I will keep this hand. I will mulligan the elixir of iron. So I like keeping two jinx because the second jinx will be the get excited. And so jinx has a really good champion spell. so many little buddies. Alright, so we know they're going to use Elixir of Iron. That's what they always do. That's fine. These aren't even the best attacks. Alright, so now that really starts this turn. Jinx plus get excited. Or Brom. You are safe with Brom. I don't think we're gonna get the mighty Poro, are we? Oh no, it stayed alive. Alright, cool. We got the mighty Poro. All right, so we got Big Braum and Big Vi. Vi stands 
Uh, I think it's kind of big. My shield is my soul. Have you met my shield? Eat this. Let's frostbite. I guess. Not well, the frostbite really helps, actually. Okay, so this is gonna go to three, six, seven. So that's gonna go to seven power. Five power. Yeah, frostbite helps. I'm gonna frostbite Tarkaz. Make them not want to attack with Tarkaz. All right, let's go. Let's challenge you and you and over to you and here we go. with your back, not wait. You'll regret when I make this. Go down to seventeen. Right, Jinx is gonna die. I all right, so yeah, that's that's scar ground, survive damage, and then deal damage back. That's that's a pretty cool little thing with quick attack. All right, life steal fierce, life steal fearsome fury. Yeah, I should have done that. Okay, so we're going to so none of these have overwhelm. Which is important. You, are safe with you block there. You block there. You don't block there. You block here. You block here. My life for Avarosa. All right, this will do. I'm keeping my fearsome life steal fury exalted poro alive. Cause then I can I can do the rising spell force on this exalted poro. Perfect. Burst spell, good. Okay, you all attack like this. You challenge there. Alright, let's heal some Nexus. And let's heal the Nexus. And let's level up Jinx for fun. All right, get that Nexus back up to 30 before the Sejuani battle. And I use the Elixir of Iron on the Exalted Poro also in case they go Brittle Steel. All right, Poros are MVP. Definitely feeling a lot better about this run with having the Poros than our previous two runs. Do not want Ice Shard. Zero mana stress testing? Bleh. Man, I guess is this our last reroll?
Here's our last reroll. Golden Ages? Ancestral Boon's not that bad, honestly. One Just one mana to grant the top ally of your deck plus, one, plus two, plus two. Like, that's actually probably worth it. Like, that's a permanent plus two, plus two buff for one mana. That's not bad. Golden Ages getting more attack tokens with these Poros, though. Mm, I'm not sure. Y'all like Gotcha? Yeah, I mean, we could do Gotcha. All right, everybody, most people want gotcha. Aroas did say Golden Ages. Yeah, we are summoning lots of Poros. All right, let's do gotcha. Double gotcha. Whoops. All right, double gotcha. That's making even more of them every cast. So we're going to end up where we only have gotchas. This could be a huge mistake. But it's also double gotcha. So yeah, we'll have to see. That, that could definitely end up being a huge mistake. We're like... Every draw, I just draw a gotcha, especially against like, you know, like turrets, like they get an 8 8 every turn, but I just draw a gotcha every turn, and it's like, <laughs> that's not as, as good. Destruction feeds my fire. They'll never feel the cold. At least we got these poros for blockers. Yeah, without having card draw, having just all gotchas could definitely backfire. But it could also help me empty my hand for leveling up Jinx. Alright, so we go double gotcha. We put two copies back into the deck for each one, and they are zero mana. Because it says they're one mana, but they also got just as reduced my cost by two, so they'll be zero mana. The turn we draw them. Uh... That's a lot. This is the boss fight, so it's okay. We can, you know, like, all we gotta do is just win this game. Gotcha, I need to draw ya. Man, they're killing all my blockers too. 
Where's that gotcha? Feel no fear. At least they played that. This thing has fury. My light for Avarosa. Burn them all. Let us get going. Rom, I thought he was just a story. One girl wrecking crew. All right, Vi, we need a one girl wrecking crew tomorrow. Health, we got six. Across the seas and into battle. Avalanche. My plan has been just to draw gotcha. That plan hasn't always looked like it's gonna work. Stand behind Rob. How close are you leveling up? You're at three, so this would be four. Why do you get plus one plus one? Oh yeah, Fury. Tell it to the fists. Did I just get a new Sejuani? Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you own what you take. We own all we see. What is what is that, Scorpy? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Why didn't I I meant to play Jinx at the end of the last turn. I don't really know why I didn't. Let's show our friends the door. This is fun, yes? Like the animal you are. Is that just to save the tutu? And to have me help me level up my Braum? Oh, <laughs> whenever I said tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is something else. Sensitive does probably. Do you have another such in the deck? Yeah, that's kind of crazy how we haven't drawn any gotchas this whole time, right? Because we did put four other gotchas back into the deck, didn't we? I feel like we did. But who knows? We don't seem to have any. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Our 
What could be better? Down to eight. Getting there. So now we'll draw two. Better chance of us drawing a gotcha. Drawing two. These Ember Maidens have really hurt my get a poro every single round. So the Super Mega Death Rock will do the four to them to kill them anyway. I'll just get rid of that. Stand behind Brom. You did good, Brom. You did good. Okay, now this is where it gets real hard, the PNZ ones. Starting with Foundry here. This is where it's gonna get tough. This is where we've been losing our other ones. So we need a good power. Oh, am I am I out of rerolls also? I am out of rerolls. You summon a five plus power unit, it strikes the weakest enemy. That could be with Vi or Wild Claw. Or give everything challenger. Let's just give everything challenger with having these little buddies. And then we're going to have. Hmm. Yeah, you could. That that power could. That power is amazing with Vi, and it would auto level up Vi. It's just that's kind of all it does. It doesn't really do very much besides that. I think it maybe give Jinx plus zero plus two. Have it where Jinx can like actually kind of block and be in combat a little bit more. Or I guess summon draw a card. Yeah, I guess summon draw a card because we have the power that gives all of our things plus one plus zero whenever we draw a card. So actually maybe summon draw a card is the way to go. We're talking about, like, Jinx regen. Of course, if I would have taken the other power, then I could do, like, the pickaxe on the, the Jinx, and then, then if we would have taken the, the deal five damage, and then this, you know, like, that would have been a great, like, the five plus power things, kill stuff. Oh, that's true. We probably need to draw with all these gotchas anyway. Alright, we'll do draw with Brom. No, we want Jinx. Because we want more copies of Jinx for more for Get Excited, right? Right? No, we'll do draw with Brom. So then Brom gets the plus one, plus zero. This is an expensive hand. This is where we lost last time. They just went crazy with Professor Vanya. OK, 
Okay, little buddies against Foundry with the with the they they get the all of your stuff gets plus one plus zero against Foundry is pretty sweet. But yeah, this is as you can see, this is how we lost last time. Professor Vanya. Maybe I should play the gotcha first before drawing. Okay, we're stabilizing. Scar thing step in, which is perfectly fine. Alright, I feel pretty good about this one, but of course we got to we got to be able to defeat three opponents, not just this one opponent. We have regen on Jinx. That's what y'all are talking about. I completely see. We've done. We've played so much. We played this for so many hours that I completely forgot about that. Oh right. That's what y'all were, were talking about. Yeah. So the plus zero, plus two on the Jinx would have been nice. No, we could not find gotchas. I need to refocus. Refocus. Okay, get excited's good. Sorry, Vi. Getting burned. Alright, so I'm still at 22. Don't have any Nexus healing. Vi's leveled up. Take from the rich, give to me. No refund. Down to twenty one. Alright, so definitely giving the quick attack here, because they're they're gonna make the 6-3 that was gonna kill Braum. And our buy levels up. Oh, yeah. I so many cards. Alright, only one pop cap. That's not very many pop caps. Believe 
Uh, so basically seeing who they sump works map, we have, which was going to be the 4-3, that's what it usually is. So we'll get excited that thing. Okay, I am going to just get excited, discard a take heart, kill that, and let everything else happen. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're not getting the best value out of some of their spells. That's fine with me. Yeah, it's not with these puff caps. Exact lethal right now. That's gonna save them four life. So we can make up for that. Take heart. Twenty-one fourteen by. There we go. Okay, so we got through the first stage, first of three. Even though the doggo is not too happy about that. Harvey. What do we get? Reinforcements. Okay, zero cost urchin. When you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one for the take heart. Or we could avalanche that heals our nexus. We may need to just grab this heal your nexus, honestly, for where we are. I kind of like urchin, zero cost urchin though, honestly. I kind of like that, it can, ripe, you know, can Rifle through our deck with like these expensive things that we don't need. They have Challenger. And then draw. Yeah, actually, let's get this. Yeah, let's get that. Because then they also. They draw cards, then they buff up. Because remember, so like they have. They're like discarding vision each time, right? <laughs> so it's like you turn everything that it discards into vision. Because you get the plus one, plus zero. <clears throat> Exactly. This is perfect, because, you know, like, Heimer... Yeah, so rather this costs one or two, but that's going to buff that up to three. Or, yeah, you, you know, that costs zero, but still. Get to kill Heimer. All right, so great start. Got to kill Heimer. Unfortunately, the rest of my mulligan was a bunch of these four cost things, and I guess I should have kept Avalanche. We're at 16. Yeah, I guess I should have taken... Yeah, the Avalanche was heal your Nexus 3. Man, I still can't play anything. This was very poor mulliganing by me. Very poor mulliganing. How can I help? Let us get going. Cool, they just passed. They're, they burn their turret. Is it possible that it's good for me just to, like, also pass and then they burn their turret? 
again. Or do I attack? Yeah, that's how I've ever... So, so far, that's how I've been defeating this deck is by milling them. Place take heart with take heart. Replace bull all knock with bull all knock. There are nine cards left. Cause like this thing has overwhelm. Now they get a turret. I don't know. Perfect. Love it. I should definitely play the bull all knock over the urchin right there. Me not doing anything else with this mana. If it's a fight they want. The I should try to unload my hand for Jinx. You know it's Who not gonna it's to not gonna be easy. I guess I could avalanche. We'll take what we need to survive. I don't know. I guess I could avalanche. Yeah, that's the thing. All we have to do is just keep on blocking stuff, and then we eventually mill them out, and then that's just the game, right? Like, that's... They don't really have, like, elusives. Uh, no, I have no real reason for why I didn't attack with a quick attack Poro. I'm guessing I probably should have. I'm gonna buff up the Jinx. Cause I don't want it to die. So they're down to just two cards left. Taste of 
All right, so feeling pretty good about this one. All right, Korok, you, you beat bots with 15 health to spare. We're right there. We got 16. Oh, man, we got gotcha. So down to two. Ah. So close. So close. Get rid of Overwhelm. Super Mega Death Rocket. Okay, we ain't no. Here we go, final boss, 16 health. No rerolls for whatever, uh, you know, whatever power we get, or, you know, won't get a power, but whatever, whatever happens here. So whatever happens, happens. All right, let's take the take heart that heals my Nexus 3. Because... I don't know if I have room for, like, gotcha making a Poro, also. Will we get two Poros with our gotchas? Because we double cast the gotchas already. Heals. All right, let's let's take the heals. The The reason why I'm, I'm a little worried about the, with the take card is I'm worried about being able to cast it, but I guess we are playing Avalanche. Like, I'm worried about having damaged units. <laughs> Because their stuff is so big. Like, their things just kill my stuff immediately. That's why maybe, like, the gotchas that... Yeah, maybe I should take more gotchas. Huh. They usually play the one drop on turn one. The uh, the one drop augment. What do I do? That thing. Don't I do? You still have so much to improve. All right, let's put four more gotchas back into the deck. Hawk doing its thing. Yeah, so now we got zero cost gotcha. I probably should have taken the gotcha and make some poros. Uh, even though I don't have like room for all the poros. But just to get more gotchas into the deck, because this is just zero mana deal six. Especially when we're when we have jinx. It's like, yes please, zero mana deal six. Zero mana deal six. So how do we get damaged allies? That's the thing. Yeah, this this take heart could have been likely. 
likely could have been. Gotcha. Yeah, last match worked out well. There it is. There it is. No. My jinx. Yeah, like we are really just gonna draw gotchas like the rest of the game now. <laughs> I am the future. No, let's have Hawk do its thing. Hawk gets all the dirty work done. Love seeing that. Let's not get excited at my Nexus. So love seeing that. No, no, no. I'm doing this my way. Okay. Alright, let's try and kill this. So Percival, so now the Mimic won't be able to attack and gain any keywords, won't be able to gain Elusive. That's the hope. Ooh. If they played, like, the, the three mana Elusive, I would have been pretty worried right there. Okay, we got it, finally. We got through Heroic, we got the Little Buddies. Y'all saw there that Little Buddies just makes makes that much, much easier. Round start, Poro every round. That's really the, that's the best power in the game. We uh, got very lucky to start the game with Little Buddies. Um, we had we had kind of, you know, we had four very good cards that were buffed up here. Um, you know, like all we had three different champions. All three champions had buffs. Usually, like with with these runs, like usually you get like one champion and you buff it up like four times, and you have some ridiculously crazy card and you draw a bunch of them. But we went, you know, very, uh, you know, like we we kind of spread it out, very even around there. The gotchas were awesome. That last round, definitely needed those. Okay, so experiment succeeded. So that was the Heroic Braum Run. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know how you like the Lab of Legends, what's your favorite champions, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully y'all are really enjoying this game mode as well. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where we uh, try this out in Legendary now. Thanks for watching. See you for the next video.